Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, brothers of Hope Elect, where word and truth and sincerity. Alright, this video here is Understanding Possessive Pronouns. Alright, so a key to understanding the scriptures is understanding verbiage. Okay. When I say verbiage, I mean just dialect, you know, language, understanding the languages, understanding the tongues, okay, understanding the way things are written, okay, the way things are written from the way things are, okay, you know, whether it be in Hebrew, the Greek, the English, the Latin, you know, all of that, you need to understand it, okay, so one of the basics in the English language is subject verb agreement pronouns, possessive pronouns, you know, predicates, subjects, ad, ad, adjectives, ad, uh, you know, adverbs, adjectives, all those different things, all right? But we're going to focus on pronouns. And within pronouns, we're going to focus on possessive pronouns, okay? So what is a possessive pronoun? All right, so I'm going to look Look this up here. This is from uh, yourdictionary.com. Okay. It's grammar.yourdictionary.com. And it says, what is a possessive pronoun? If you know what a pronoun is, you can probably figure out what a possessive pronoun is. But you may be thinking of possessive adjectives instead. So what is a possessive pronoun? Take a look at these possessive pronouns examples to clarify what these little words are how they function and how they're different from possessive adjectives all right so you look at the list here uh, it says possessive pronouns you got subject pronouns meaning i you he she it they okay um and then you have possessive pronouns mine's yours his hers it's theirs okay those are possessive pronouns all right give an example of a sentence that says i want the blue shirt back it's mine okay he used a possessive pronoun of mine and what is mine going to taking ownership of something all right defining possessive pronouns Possessive pronouns do exactly what it seems like they should do. Like all pronouns, they replace nouns in a sentence. Possessive pronouns help us show a noun's possession or ownership. However, they are different from possessive adjectives. All right. Uh, generally, you use possessive pronouns to talk about a person, place, or thing that has already been explained. They prevent repetition in the sentence. Uh, here we go. Got a, a, a little list of it. Possessive. Uh, you got subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Okay. Then you got possessive absolute, meaning mine, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, theirs. Okay. <laughs> then you got possessive adjective, my, your, his, her, it's, our, their, same thing. Okay. But you kind of get the get the gist get the gist of it. Alright, so we're gonna look at the word ownership. Because it compared it to ownership. Okay. Um, ownership says the act or right of possessing something the ownership of land the right of possession the 
the state or relation or fact of being a group or organization. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a little. Just want to see if we can get a little more on it. If I can. Here's one. Uh, ownership is the state or fact of legal possession and control over property which may be any asset tangible or intangible ownership can involve multiple rights collectively referred to as a as title okay, remember that word title which may be separated and held by different parties okay but so if you own something you can put a title on it pay attention to that now I'm gonna just look up the word possession real quick and then we'll grab some scriptures for a while while I was kind of going into these possessive pronouns. Possession. 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 The state of having, owning, or controlling something. He had taken possession of one of the sofas, any item or property, something belonging to one. Okay? But that's uh, pretty much what we're going to get on that. So, the reason why I was titling this Understanding Possessive Pronouns because here in, let's see, Matthew 1 and 21. All right. This is uh, talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay. His people. So that's a possessive pronoun showing ownership. Okay, so that means that um, that the is well, who are who are uh, Yahushua's people? They are the Israelites. Okay, they are the Israelites. Those are his people whom he had to save from their sins. Okay, let's get into these possessive pronouns so you can understand. So let's get it. Let's see for an example who. How do we know that the Israelites are his people? Well, if we scroll up to the top, we can go to the bloodline. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generation of Yahweh Mashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob. Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. Judas begat Perez and Zarah of Tamar. And Perez begat Esram, and Esram begat Aram, okay, and so on and so forth. You know, we scroll on down here. Um, and Salmon begat Boaz uh, of, of Rakab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat uh, David the king, and, and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah. See that? I See, I mentioned David, okay? Alright. Well, you see that the, that's the blood, that's the bloodline in which Yahweh Shai was coming through. Okay? Yahweh Shai came through these men. It says this is the generation of them. So, these are his people. Like, you know, you think about that slang term we, uh, when, you know, someone asks you, uh, you know, who your family, who you kin to, you know, they say another way they say this, who your people is. OK, who your people, you know, who your people go back to where your people from. You know, that's it says your people. That's a possessive pronoun, meaning they belong to you. That is your people. That is your bloodline. OK, yeah, how I would save his people from their sins. That was his bloodline. That was his people, his people who he came through. All right. So let's get another one. This is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, the Lord power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. Okay? Who are the Lord's people? It just said it right there. Israel. Okay? And who are those people? Uh, let's let's uh scroll where is it at? Is that the end, maybe? Oh, chapter 3, Salakia. Luke chapter 3 on down at the bottom. See? Okay. 
and I'll start. I'll go read it all, okay, just to give you an idea. Uh, verse 23 and Yahweh himself began to be about 30 years of age being as was supposed the son of Joseph which was the son of Heli which was the son of Met- Methat which was the son of Levi which was the son of Melchi which was the son of Joanna which was the son of Joseph okay you see where I'm going with that now if you remember uh, let's see if we can find uh here we go. If you remember in Matthew, we read he was the son of David. Okay. Or, or he was begat. You know, David begat Solomon. You know, he was through the bloodline. But check this out. Verse 31, which was the son of Malia, which was the son of Minon, which was the son of Matatha, uh, Mar- which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed which was the son of Booz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nason. Okay. All right. You keep on going all the way down. Uh, Verse 38, uh, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of the Most High. You see that? See how that goes? He came through the bloodline of these men. These are his people. All right. Can't get around that. And I and I I made sure to uh, I focused on that that we went into David because uh, check this out let's get this let's see here it is Revelation the twenty second chapter verse sixteen I Yahweh Shai have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root. And the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Okay. He's the root and the offspring. So it started with Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he's the offspring of David. Okay. Meaning that he was the that's who line he came through. Those are his people. So whoever David's people are, that's Yahweh Shai's people. Okay. Let's get another one. This is talking about Yahweh Shai here, but it says uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. And if you get that word seed there, it is the word from uh, Strong's G 4690, sperma. Sperma. (laughs) So it's, you know, sperm. So. So you can say that Yahusha came through the sperm line of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, on down to Jesse, on down to uh, David, you know, on down to uh, Solomon, or on down to uh, Obed. You know, you see what I'm saying? He can, those are his people. That is the sperm line from which he came through. So now we looked up that word. Uh, 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 possessive pronouns and then we went into the word possession okay so why is that important let's see let's get this here this is rock chapter 36 verse 24 he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession okay a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest that possession means ownership so if you have a wife that woman that that woman belongs to that her husband okay she's the possession of her husband okay all right the same way in which our relationship with uh with our power is we are the wife to the bride to the uh to the bride or the husband so like the bridegroom or the husband, which is Yahweh Shai. We are the wife. So we are Yahweh Shai's possession. Okay. The people of Israel. But guess what? He chose us. You see what I'm saying? We are his possession. All right. So 
that's why we uh he came to save his people from their sins okay he, who are his people is the his bride those are Yahweh's people okay and and that's why I said um uh, he that he say he that getteth a wife begetteth a possession help like unto himself a pillar of rest okay so Like I said, that that woman that you get as your wife, that is your possession. She belongs to you. Okay, when you take her onto yourself, she is yours. She belongs to you the same way we we belong to you. How about your mouth shot? All right. Now, what is one action that you take that a that a husband takes when when a woman uh, is joined unto him or she becomes his? He puts his name on her. Okay, so when a woman comes into his house, he puts his name on her and she comes under his rule, not not meaning that he's a tyrant, but she comes under his rule, his authority. Okay, she belongs unto him. All right. The same way we come under Yahweh Shema Shai's rule under Yahweh Shema Shai's authority. We belong unto him. We serve them. Okay. Let's see, this is Genesis, the 32nd chapter, verse 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with the Most High and with men, and has prevailed. Okay? So we are the prince of the power. Okay? So at that point, the Lord put his name on Jacob. Okay? And by him putting his name on Jacob... Jacob passed that name down through his bloodline or through his seed line. Okay. So thus, because remember the covenant was made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. So at that point, the Lord put his name on us. Okay. We are his possession. We belong to him. All right. Simple as that. That was a possessive pronoun. All right. I want to get an example of that here in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 19. Yeah, I'll start it. Isaiah 19 and 23. And in that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt. Okay. To Assyria. And the Assyrian shall come into Egypt. And the Egyptian into Assyria. And the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. Okay, now these Egyptians, as referring to the house of Judah and Assyria, the house of uh, Israel. Because remember, only Israelites can serve the Lord. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue on. Verse 24. In that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with Assyria, even a blessing in the midst of the land. So now it's talking about them being blessed. Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. Okay? This is talking about Israel as a whole. Okay? Both of the houses coming out of captivity and coming together. Okay? To serve the Lord and to be blessed of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? And then you see it says, In Israel, mine inheritance. Okay? So it calls us uh, his inheritance. What is an inheritance? A possession. Okay. Understand these possessive pronouns. It's not mine. A possessive pronoun. I'm just curious. I'm going to look up that word mine. And see if we oh, he just got inheritance. Okay. Uh, but this is a mine inheritance. It says possession, property, inheritance, heritage, portion, share, uh, inheritance or possession. Okay. That's good enough there. 
But remember, you have to understand this language. You got to understand these possessive pronouns when you're understanding who salvation is for, who who Yahweh Shai came to save, who Yahweh Shai came to teach, all these things, okay? Understanding possessive pronouns. All right, so call Allah Yahweh Shai, 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 Shai